I'm proud of the protests, but I'm not proud of the destruction. <laughs> The driver was inside his Mini Cooper. You can see him accelerating into a crowd of about two dozen protesters, sending some of them flying, running for safety. We are told that at least three people were injured. Uh, luckily, they were just minor injuries. Uh, the man who was arrested is a Newport Beach local. In the LA area. about that. I'm not going to put all the video credits to LAOC TV, um, but dude, it's, it's a response. Like, what do these protesters think? They're not even protesters no more. Those are rioters. They're looters, man. They're stealing shit. It's not right. Moving on to the next video. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was talking to you guys about in the riot. Like, look at, look at this. This is crazy. Check this video out. Dodge dealership in San Leandro saw the whole thing coming. There were looters across the way at the Nike clearance store. It looked like they were finishing up and then starting to cross the street. The employees had moved some of the cars to block the driveway and then he told them to retreat and get out of there. And they're stealing all the cars. Video posted to social media shows the moment looters were stealing brand new cars and driving them off the lot. Look at that. Some of them stopped what the, to burn out the tires on the way. How many vehicles? Right now we're thinking 50. <whistles> Damn. So we have trackers on them, so we're seeing which ones are out there. So we have, they're running around everywhere. Owner 
Carlos Damn. Hidalgo said the crooks broke into the building and gained access to the key safe. Uh, they got through the first one. And likely triggered the car alarms to guide them to the corresponding vehicle. Every empty parking space you see here represents a stolen car. They took nearly every high-end $100,000 Dodge Hellcat. The one that was in this spot was used to ram the other ones out of the way. So it just drove it right through here. And the one that was on the showroom floor, Damn, they drove it dude, right out the front what window. The fuck? Right, look at these people. Across the street, this was the scene last night in front of the Nike store. The parking lot filled with looters arriving in their cars. The damage gives you some hint Look of at the that. tsunami of violence Look at and criminal that. activity that was about to overcome the city. Shelves, racks, cash registers, all picked clean. Glass, merchandise, and debris were strewn out everywhere. Seas candy? Emptied out. Togo sandwiches? Ransacked as well. The dollar store? Glass broken, but mostly untouched. By sunrise, we saw stragglers actually return to the scene with garbage bags to pick up stolen merchandise that was dropped on the ground. But we also met Gloria, who came down to help clean up at Bayfair when she saw the destruction from the looters on TV. When I woke up this morning, I just said, what can I do for my community? As attack a high-end car dealership and make off with nearly 80 vehicles. Mm. That's a looter burning rubber as thieves have a field day at this Dodge dealership in San Leandro, California. Oh, he stole that, y'all. Yeah! That's right! And here's where they drove the car right out through the show floor. Dealership owner Carlos Hidalgo says the looters drove off with nearly $2.7 million worth of cars. These are collector's cars. I have customers from all over the United States that buy these. What a shame to see what it came out to be. And this is how the looters were able to make their getaway. These are card safes. They hold 240 keys. So they got to the first one. And from there, they went looking and seeing which one would beep the alarm. We're there as a tow truck driver recovers one of the stolen vehicles. It was located with a tracking device. Forty vehicles have been recovered so far, but many oh, have been stripped from Oh, look at that. No engine, no transmission. Look at that. The night of the looting, video shows a police vehicle at the scene, but officers were clearly overwhelmed. The whole city was under siege. Other car dealerships across the nation have also been hit. You can see the boarded up windows behind me here in Santa Monica. They lost a dozen cars here. Meanwhile, at other dealerships, like one across the street, they've actually transported most of the cars off the lot in case the looters return. Mike Sullivan owns 12 dealerships. They stole a total of uh, between 10 and 12 cars we're still ascertaining. They crashed cars into each other. They ran them into games. And to end the video, guys. I'm gonna just show this last clip. We just want, we just want justice, man. Like we just want justice because of this. What what happens in almost everyday life between cops and citizens? Like we just, we just want justice, bro.